Anime eyes. Depending on their shape and size, they are a crucial part to represent your character's personality. Some anime productions put a huge amount of detail into them, some others do not. There are endless styles and procedures to draw anime eyes, and each illustrator develops their own methods and techniques. However, they can be a tricky and intimidating part for beginners. Today, I would like to share a step-by-step -step video of the process I follow to paint sparkling eyes, inspired by this Japanese tutorial, whose link you can find in the description below. It is a simple method, so let's start with it. Here I have my line art layer and below I have one layer for the skin color and another one for the hair. Just above them let's create a new layer and a new folder. I'm going to name this folder Eyes and then we place our empty layer inside the folder. Then I pick a dark blue color and fill the space the whites of the eyes will occupy. I am using Clip Studio Paint, but you can follow along using almost any other drawing software. Once filled, we can go to Edit, Tonal Corrections, Hue, Saturation, Luminosity or press Ctrl U and drag the luminosity to the top right. Now create another layer and fill the iris with a base color of your choice. Create another layer and select Clip to Layer below, so that anything we draw here will remain inside the space filled on the iris layer. Now, with a darker and more saturated shade, we draw the outlines and an ellipse in the center with a slightly light dot in the lower part of the pupil. Draw some lines around the middle. Create another layer and again select clip the layer below. Change the blending mode to multiply and draw an arc like this on each eye, filling the space above. If it is too dark, we can always lower the opacity. Create another layer and once again select Clip to Layer below and set the blending mode to Add. Paint the lower part with a much lighter color. We can soften the edge with the blue tool. Create another layer and, you guessed it, select Clip to Layer below and paint an ellipse like this. Erase a line like that and select the soft eraser to create this fading effect. Remember, we can hit Ctrl U to change the color, but mine will remain like this. Create another layer and draw the reflections. We can vary colors so that they are not always white. Right click on this layer and duplicate it. Go to Filter, Blue, Gaussian Blur. Now set the blending mode to Up and we can see the magic happen. Now let's go back to our base layer for the iris. Hold Ctrl and click on the layer to create the selection. Go to Select, Expand Selected Area and let's increase it by 3 pixels. Well, maybe it won't be enough. Let's increase the selection another 2 pixels. Place yourself on the base layer for the whites of the eye and create a new layer that will be clipped to the layer below. Select a light red shade and fill the selected area by pressing Alt Backspace. Create a final layer, clip to the layer below and lower its opacity. Now paint the black arc and fill the space above. Maybe we can decrease the opacity even more. And we are almost done, but not yet. Now let's select the layer in which the line art of the eyes has been done. Click on Lock Transparent Pixels so that we cannot paint outside the already painted area and draw some reflections on the eyelashes like this. Then I soften the lower part, painting black again with a soft airbrush tool. Finally, increase the size of the airbrush tool to paint the edges of the eyelashes using a shade of light scarlet. And that has been all for today. Hope you find this useful to give you some ideas and see you in the next one. Bye!